Hi everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. Now, while I was off camera, like I said, I was going to train my Pokemon. Let's just have a quick... Uh, Ninkata's now level 13, Mudkip is now 15, and Taylor is 16. Now, if we go down this way, I'll be able to show you exactly where we are, because we're in Slateport City, which is where we're headed. But, basically, this is the beach that we were at. So we're not very far away. Anyway, if we go up here, we will find... When I see it, there it is. There's a big-ass queue, Team Magma. Hey there, quit pushing, this is a line, can't you see? Alright, fine, I'll queue. Hey, dude. Hey, hey, how long's the queue? Because this is, um... Yeah. Our boss is brilliant. What would he do with a muse? What would he want to do with a museum now? Yeah. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I'm not queuing up. This can have a few people baffled, you know, how to actually get in. If we talk to this guy, I think it is. Where does this thing go? What about this doohickey? Ah, I gotta make heads and tails of it. Um, hi, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to design a ferry. Oh, and there, they Devon Goods? But, hmm, this won't do. Captain Stern went off somewhere. He said he had some work to do. Could I get you to find Captain Stern and deliver that to him? Now, uh, if I'm not wrong, the que yeah, there we go. The queue has subsided. Welcome to Oceanic Museum. The entrance fee is 50 pounds. Do you not see the amount of thugs that are in your museum at the moment? Now, unless they're just... They're looking at things. I mean, come on, it's a big group of thugs looking around in your museum and you still want to check fine, okay? There's your 50. There's your 50 poker dollars. Oh, you've talked to this guy. Hey, hey, what are you doing here? Me? I'm the Team Magma member you thumped before, remember? Here, take this, you have to forgive me. GM46! And it is... I can't, you screwed up my plans. I was going to rip off some then to make up for it. Just you wait, you'll get yours one day. Actually, while I'm here, I'm going to find out what that actually was. It was Thief. Ah, I see. Uh, while attacking, it may steal the foe's held item. Oh, pretty good. Let's find out what these people did they actually pay to get him. If I ripped off the stuff here, would it make me rich? If our goons didn't bundle things in Rustboro, we wouldn't be here. What I learned here... It could be put using a nefarious do Fine. I didn't have 50 pounds, so it took a long time to get by the reserve. Oh, so everyone did pay it. We Team Magma exist for the good of all. Yes, that's what a lot of villains say. We were told to assemble here, but we did, but our boss, the linchpin, isn't here. Well, it's pretty silly. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah, that must be the part I ordered for Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare for our expedition now. But wait! Hee hee hee. Hold it, we'll take those parts. W what? Who are you people? We're a Team Magma. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap and fuck them over. Let's do this. Let's fight Team Magma once again. Unfortunately, his friend didn't tell... <laughs> so, the guy we beat earlier didn't tell his friends that we're a force to be reckoned with. Anyway, it's a pretty simple battle. We're just going to have to swap over. Oh man, I'm getting closer and closer to actually leveling up. To e evolving. Most of these Pokemon, to be honest, but the, to be honest, the one I really want to level up is Ninkata. Right, that's that done. It's easy enough. Experience. Ah, uh, kid beat me. I'm no ordinary kid. Oh man, what a disaster! The boss is going to be furious. <sighs> Snivelling wimp. Let me take care of this. All right, it's time to take down the second. We got this! It's two Pokemon, and he's starting with a Zubat. Piece of cake. Man, I don't see what- I was like, would you want to train- The only way I would train a Zubat is if I were to find a shiny one. And in a previous L- Well, not a previous LP, what am I saying? A previous playthrough of Pokemon Ruby, about four years ago now, I found a shiny Zubat. And, uh, let me just get it across, uh, shiny Pokemon on 2nd to 3rd gen, 
there is a 1 in 8192 chance. But, in uh, the new generation, 4 and 5, they adjusted it. It's now 1 in 2000. So it's not so difficult. I would say it's still a absolute bitch to find one, but, you know, it's just not as cha challenging. Man, I'm doing more damage to myself than this Zubat can do to me. I find it great that all these villains love training terrible Pokemon. Come on, hit this time. Nope. Oh man, this is going to be a bit of a pain, isn't it? Oh, this is the final one. And I'm waiting to next turn so I can actually hit something. There we go. Now it's going to take two turns to win this. Oh no, it isn't! <laughs> wow! Uh, no, let's just get this over and done with. Besides, if, as soon as uh, Mudkip hits level 16, good things happen. That should be enough, shouldn't it? Uh, 2 for 64. Yes, level 16! Yay, we beat Team Magma Grunt! What? Kip is evolving. Dun, 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 dun. You know, I've always had the temptation to press the B button, but I'm not gonna. Yeah, look at what we got. Your mad Kip evolved into a Marsh Dump. Marsh Dump Shrunnel and Mud Shot. Well, it's gotta be better than um, Mud Slap, surely. Yeah, 55. Now we've actually got a decent ground move. The good news is, the gym number three is electric. Just like Lieutenant Surge. So, you know, that should be pretty easy. Now what? If we don't get the parts, we're in for it. Ugh, I didn't count on being metal by some meddling kid. What are we watching? Scooby-Doo? I came to see what was taking so long to snatch some parts. And you simps are held up by a mere child? Wimps? Or... Was it supposed to be simps? Simpletons or something? I'm Team Magma's Maxi. Why on earth do you feel compelled to mess with Team Magma's plans? Pokemon, people, all life exists on land. That's why Team Magma is trying to expand the world's landmass. Don't you agree? What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Well, no matter. You're young. Your inability to understand our noble cause can't be helped. But if you were to impede us ever again, you'll see no mercy from us. Keep that firmly in mind. Farewell. You're... Okay, you're Tom. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Oh, I almost forgot that you even bought the parts from Devon. Take these! Whoops, there's no time to lose. We have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks, and excuse me. Well, that's that delivered, and we met the leader. Well, they, there's a very interesting thing with them. Maxi, you know, Team Magma and Team Aqua. Notably that uh, Team Magma want to exp expand the world's landmass, and Team Aqua want to increase the, you know, the ocean. Hmm. You know, if that had to be well, at the moment it seems that the whole events of Team Aqua are happening right now. You know, the f water levels are rising and whatnot. So to be honest, we could do it with a Team Magma. You know, not like make it 70% land and 30% water, that would be silly. Anyway, we can move up here now. Now normally, there would have been a team of Team Magma guys, like standing just here. But now... We can move- actually, no, why am I trying to walk around you? I, I want to fight you, I want to get XP. I would go anywhere to show off my delightful Pokémon. Oh, joy. Pokéfan, Isabel. Right, I'm actually... Ninkado is part ground. So, any attacks they... I don't even think they know any attack. Like, when well, attacks? I don't think they know any electric attacks anyway, so... I'll just get Marsh Dump out so I can do some super effectives. Yeah, it's just a quick attack and stuff. Mud shot! Fine, wait a second. Mud shot! D oh, come on! Marshdom special isn't brilliant. 
And you've got a berry. Brilliant. Yes, I need an arm berry. Mud shot! Take a shot of mud with mud shot. Yay, more XP for Nincada. A minion. Uh, yes, I want to get Nincada back out. It sucks at the moment. Nincada knows no good moves. It's one of those things you have to make a big sacrifice. Training a Nincada. But when it gets to level 20, you'll be repaid. With uh, whether you want it to be a ninja ask, which is like a really quick bug and flying type, or the the massively risky shed ninja, bug and ghost type, and only one hit point. It's just a sight to see, you know, when you've got like a level 30 or 40 with only one hit point. Trust me, when you see it, you'll laugh. If you haven't already seen it before. Oh dear, this won't do. Ah well. All right, let's get moving. Um, do you bow? I don't have a bike, so I take the leisurely walk on a low road. Uh, what? Well, yeah, I think we're good. Die, you're hurt. Uh, yeah, we want to fight this guy, don't we? I think he'll stop us anyway. Yeah, no matter what happens, we'll always... Yeah, that will stop us. Ah, uh, gold pins! Little poison types. Irritating, though. I found some cool Pokemon in the grass around here. So yeah, it's going to be now a youngster who's like using the Pokemon that you find around here. A Pucciana? I don't think you can find Pucciana around here. Alright. Now, as per usual, we're going to do the swap in, swap out method. It looks like I'm going to be turning back around anyway because I need to heal up my Pokemon. Especially after this battle. Wow. Oh wow, critical hit, go mash on. Yay, level 17. Aaron. Alright, go Nincada. Um yeah, let's get mashed on back out. Like I said previous, I really don't know what level. Uh, Taylor levels up. So I'm not even too sure what moves Steel is super effective on. I thought it would be super effective on flying, but, you know, I, last time I checked it wasn't. Steel moves aren't brilliant. Steel types are pretty good. It's a strange one, it really is. Uh, an Electric. Now, once again, Marsh Dump or Nincada would be a perfect choice because they're part ground. Uh, should, we're actually going to try and take this one down. Why not? Lower my defense. Yeah, careful now. It's lowering its defense, my defense, and it's raising his attack. This is bad. Ah, oh, this is really bad. Come on. Just, you know, keep howling. Howl away. And it's lowering my defense. If I don't finish it in this hit, I've got a feeling something bad's gonna happen. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Okay, come on, this has to hit or else I'm... Like, he's gonna do something. Yes. I need to heal up now, anyway. <laughs> Yay, level 14. Oh, it's actually learning a decent move, Fury Swipes. Um, just so you can see what it does. Uh, two to five times. So we'll do 18. This is a bit of an odd number for, you know, Pokemon. But we never use hard, do we? Sand Attack I've used, because Sand Attack can be pretty effective. It's a very annoying move. <laughs> Fury Swipes. Yay! Being cool is enough to win. So I'm one of those jerk kids in school who thinks they're all, you know, they're all everything or not. It's always funny, you know, walking down and you see those kids who think, they look, no, no, what, 12 years old or something? Who think they're all big and hard and whatnot. <laughs> Don't take that the wrong way. God damn it. And the f worrying thing is, especially with, um, I, I'm not too sure how many of them there are over in America. But uh, over here in England, because I know I've got um, quite a few American viewers, it's over here in England. It's horrible because the whole um, chaff culture. 
which you guys, I'm not too sure if you've got anything close, pretty close to that, but it's basically uh, British people trying to imitate um, American, you know, the American sort of, I'm not too sure what the culture is called, but you know, you get the idea, I hope. And they're all, most of them are all just, I'm trying to think of a, I'm trying to think of an analogy that doesn't involve me swearing, which is kind of surprisingly difficult, but you know, and then they got the little brothers of them, and they try to act like that. And their idea, they'll like, oh, act all big and hard up on you. They'll shout stuff up the road and something. And if you try to do just one thing, you know, you just turn around or something or whatever, they'll try and get their brothers on you, and you just think, that's what I have now affectionately referred to as mini chaffs for about five years now. Anyway, enough of that. Hi Tom, long time no see. While I was searching for other Pokemon, my Pokemon grew stronger. So, how about a little battle? Let's do it. Second battle with May. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you pick and say... Sometimes, if you pick Torchic, and you haven't trained a good grass type, you'll have problems with this battle. Alright, now, this is actually going to be a surprisingly difficult one. Let's try and Fury Swipes. Oh god, problem, problem! Yeah, I've forgotten in Carter's Park Ground. Yeah, Welma has got some pretty neat defense. Especially at level 40 when it evolves into Waylord. This thing's defense is ridiculous. And it's one of the biggest Pokemon in existence. I don't know if it's the biggest non-legendary. All in good time. It knows Splash as well, so you know. It's just a way to fill up a spot, huh? Whoa! Whoa! Oh no, this can't be happening. This cannot be happening. Um, and I'm part, I'm part ground now, so this is going to be normal. Yeah. It took down Taylor in one hit. We got it. Yes, level eighteen. Right, this is where we're gonna have problems because this would be the moment where I get where I get Taylor out. Unfortunately, Taylor's out and there are no revives. Nothing I can revive it with. See? So we're just gonna have to fight to the death. And it's gonna start using grass moves, which are gonna, it's gonna be a quad effect of attack. See? There's no way we'll be able to get it because it will just keep revive you know, just keep reviving itself with absorb. No, we're out. This is it. Game over, huh? It's game over! Let's play as ended! No! <laughs> ah, looks like we're gonna have to go back. Tom's out of use with Pokemon. No way down. It's a difficult battle. This is one of the trickier bits. It's like the wall of, you know, if you're not this good, then don't try to get any further. Calling all fans of Pokemon. Well, this is where I'm headed. Hello, sir! Ahem! I am the chairman of the Pokemon fan club. Being the chairman, I am naturally the most important. No one can best me when it comes to raising Pokemon. No one. You wanna bet? In any contest, my victory is a foregone conclusion, but that would deprive others of their enjoyment. So I now while away my time examining the Pokemon of others. It is marvelous to witness how others have raised Pokemon. The contented faces of properly raised Pokemon. The kind and loving gazes of their trainers. My heart is overwhelmed. There is so much happiness. Oh my, excuse me, I seem to have not on for far too long. Please, do me allow me to examine your Pokemon. Hmm. It's not bad, but not good either. You, the trainer, must put more effort. For instance, may I suggest you give it more Poke Blocks? You know, on that subject of Poke Blocks, uh, it's probably best we head next, because you probably wondered what's this lovely building here. It's Pokemon contests. But, there's a couple of things we can grab in here. Now, if we go talk to this girl, I have two, so you can have one. Pokeblock case, and you need this if you're going to enter contests. No other way. Well, you can enter contests, but it's different. Unfortunately, we can't actually enter any contests at the moment. Exactly, we need to obtain a contest passed in Verdnerf Town. And this is a hyper rank contest. 
Anyway, do you want to make some poker blocks? Ex excellent. Do you know how to make a poker block? Uh, I will be able to tutorial you through it instead of this old timer doing it. Basically, a wheel spins around, and when a needle gets to your point of the circle, just slam the A button, and just as more accurately you do that, the better berry you get. And it also depends on the berry itself. So let's go to uh, we got a lot of petra berries. Let's go to check tag. It is a sweet berry, so that's gonna ha that's like gonna affect. I love the way it's done, like all these little berries. So we throw a berry in. Beep, beep. Someone's thrown a chesto berry in. I know that. Anyway, you see the you get my point now. Now let's do this. When it starts reloading, that's the way to do it. Laddie tends to be pretty good. Ah, crap. What am I doing? What am I doing? I'm doing terrible. I'm doing absolutely terrible. Look at that. And then we got... Pink Pokeblock. And this works uh, better if there's more people around. Now, at Lily Cove City, right, like, one of the last places you go to, it's about 75% through the discovered of the areas, you will find more pe you'll find four people around one of these poker block makers. Right, let's do this properly this time. Let's see if we can do it without missing something. And I'll show you like how all these different things affect. All these different factors affect it. Sorry if I went a bit silent then, but yeah, we got it. Level is 11 and the fill is 22. And no, I wouldn't like to blend another berry, but thank you. Get out of my way. If you don't have your friends and berries, you can use the berry block. Ah, make... oh, I can just get out around here. If you win a contest, so put a poster of your Pokemon on the wall. Have a portrait of your Pokemon and both your names. So if we have a look here, the last winner, cool contest winners, Pleb. Pleb? Who does it say Pleb? Pelep. Well, everyone, I'm calling it Pleb. If you want to see what contests look like, because we can't actually enter them at the moment, uh, have a little look through here. And it's actually taking place, so... Whee! Hello! Yee! We're just being an absolute nuisance and walking. Look, only four people come to watch. Oh, my, my. There wasn't that a dandy of a Pokemon. Please do step right out and take part in our splendid contest. You do well, I'm sure of it. My eyes never have failed me. I've just walked in the middle of your contest. Unless it's like a, you know... You're waiting for everyone else to arrive. What about you? Well, hello there. I see you're a trainer, and it just wouldn't do for you to miss a Pokemon. Get a contest pass, and enter any time. We've got to get past May if we want that contest pass, though. <laughs> so much hard work. I don't like hard work. I'm too lazy. I've gotten too lazy over the summer holidays. God damn it. But yeah, that's about it, really, for this episode. Uh, next episode, we're actually going to beat May. I'm probably going to just like restart it, try to do the next episode straight away with better... Actually, no, I'm going to go to the Pokemon first. So yeah, while I'm at the Pokemon, I'll just, you know, outro. Uh, what do you got? What do you got, son? Any revives? No, but you have Pokeballs. Um, actually, I want to... I want 15 Pokeballs. Why not? And let's get some Super Potions. Yeah, so now we're loaded up. Next episode, we're going to go take her on. Until then, guys.